Hi folks, welcome to Frost Death Knight. Just wanted to lay the talent tree on you before we started. One note is, after you defeat the first boss, I would swap to Grip of the Dead. I didn't. I did not remember. And additionally, I would say Anti-Magic Shell, Anti-Magic Barrier, and Gloom Ward are entirely mandatory for what you're going to see me do in, the, do in this video. And then you have No Breath, Single Target, Big Dam over in the uh, spec tree. But here we go. This is another challenge where if you zone in and don't move, you can just sit there forever. And you'll notice I don't really open up on him at all in this phase. I'm waiting for him to port me so I can Frostworm's Fury like all those icicles and get the big mastery boost. If, sometimes you can also grip him into it with uh, the long range grip and then do it, but there's my big mastery boost. My buffs are work in progress, but yeah. You can be sure I got a bunch of mastery right now. And you're a death knight, so there's no real danger of dying unless it's in those spikes. You're not going to die to repeated damage. You can stop frost bolts in a lot of ways. Double grip, stun, kick. This is great, though. You get the... I AMS because I want to sit here for that pillar to come up so I can get that bow frostworm. Which should, should still give me the mastery buff? We're gonna say yes. If not, we'll write a letter. While you might want to be pressing rem Remorseless Winter a little bit more often, having it up for this part's actually really nice. And if you can't tell, which you probably can't, because it's wild, I'm death striking like every other global when I'm in there. Otherwise, you're gonna die real quick, but you're Death Strike and you're getting a lot of uh, em empowered Death Strike procs from things dying. And this is AMS, Death Advance, run straight at the dude. You used to be able to pull him just with Death in the Cave. But apparently now you gotta like be there and melee him or something. Either way, that's how we're gonna handle it next time. So now that we've gone that first phase, we're just gonna keep Anti-Magic Shell and always make sure we have one charge of death advance. And by that, I'm just not gonna press the button. We do have Wraith Walk, which I might employ here. No, I <laughs> death advance like an asshole. Oh, there's no way I'm getting phased yet. Execute phase coming up, Soul Reaper, about to kick, kick. Don't let him channel that, he gets stacks of increased damage. It's like 5% per stack, it's not the biggest deal. It's not a wipe inducing thing if you let a couple of ticks go, but again, death advance. AMS runs straight to the sparkles. Easy game. That's the improved absorb on AMS, and I'm not getting through that with a lot of absorb left on that AMS. Probably not. Let's. Hell, I can see, right? Seven K shield with the improved AMS and gloom ward. And let's see. One beam takes it to one point seven K. A couple cast. Yeah. I'm, I would still recommend that was a really close run. I wouldn't try to save points on anti-magic shell talents or, or anything like that. And the death advance there, if you didn't know, the beams push you. So if you don't have the death advance, you're just going to get pushed around. It's going to eat up your absorb and you're going to die. I'm getting close here because <laughs> Frostworm buff, grip him over it and just start doing damage to him. Honestly, if you play closer to, you know, the middle of the room, you'll be able to grip him over potentially inside the um, blizzard area, which is nice because you just get a bunch of free cleave on him. There's not like a whole bunch of splash damage that would be splashed back onto him, but you'd be able to global as soon as your frostworm went off. And, and again, that's giving us big mastery boost. And now we're spending, we're holding everything. He transitions at 10%, right? So if you wanted to change your talent, like the grip of the dead, to the 90% slow, you would do that here. Did not seem to be a big, big problem. The shadow will not and the nice part about DK is you can actually, I don't, I actually didn't check to see if this prevented the first voidy crap, but I'm just gonna yoink him over here ASAP. And I'm gonna, just to note that if you're going to use Slappy Hands, uh, Abomination's Limbs, right, this ability, 
on the ads as they're running towards the boss. I don't want to say like you can grip the boss, right? I know that channel is protected, so you can't accidentally kick it anymore. The seed channel. But uh, oh boy, don't grip the boss into the ads. He gets healed like any amounts too much. And see, the darkness used to be a kickable thing. I think I like accidentally kick it on the second one on this attempt and I got real scared. But see, we're in a remorseless winter. That grip of the dead would have been nice. We have chains with the, uh, the stacking damage on it. And again, you have double grip stun. Ways to get these guys back to you. It's like not a problem at all. But grip of the dead still would have made that a lot better. And nothing fancy in between that. You're just tanking your leech from your class tree is going to be plenty to to I'm at 100 percent. He's auto and there's no damage going up. And you can see it down below you that that spreads the longer he's in it. And you can see below, it's, it's even spreading off the map a little. I'm not holding anything for the ads except for Remorseless Winter and Death in the Cave, but I'm not pressing that otherwise. And drop them as far away as you feel comfortable. You can definitely be closer if you have that additional slot. I... You can see the map. He's at about 50% health. I do far more damage in execute. I had plenty of time to send the frost worm on that. Pillar's coming back up. Soul Reaper. Nice, nice. Don't forget the Soul Reaper, those. Then we're gonna uh, a bomb limb pillar and just go to town and probably. Yeah, I probably would have saved that for like a right at 35%, but it, again, not like a big deal. That's that Soul Reaper, though. Turns into a four button rotation. It's very difficult. And you can see, is that 25%? I've got a little more than 25% of the room. 30%? Not much. I got all day though. I feel I definitely have all day. Not too worried. It's scary when your first uh, couple levels don't seem to do much damage. There we go, frost worm on that, and that is is giving us the mastery buff again. So it's not the biggest deal in the world. Although it's not forever. So get that boss here. Last couple of seconds of pillar, and then there we go. Like he's already 17%. We're just going to town. Execute damage on frost is nuts. Or maybe just haven't been playing XCQ classes. No Shadow Word Bane on the Holy Challenge. Shadow Word Death, rather. That's Frost Death. I feel like, uh... Not too much I would have done differently. This took... Me... Way less time than, say, the Holy Challenge. as three or four attempts. So there might be some insights I'm not grasping entirely, but... I feel like the AMS death advance run through and swapping to your slow death in the cave would be the way to go. Your flash tree, I don't know. Yeah, that's Frost Death Knight. Not bad at all. I would highly recommend this talent tree. And I think you can have just a, a fine time with the challenge. Bring drums for the last boss if you're worried about Kind of the pain in the butt about this challenge is the last phase is a lot easier than the first phase. So you might spend five minutes, six minute phase ones trying to learn how to survive and how to effectively deal damage and how to get through it. On other tunes, it's a race to not have as many intermissions, but when you can just do what Death Knight does in the intermission, that's not really a big problem. Just make sure you have everything up for last guy. You don't grip boss into little guys. Don't grip little guys into boss. All I got. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace.